Today in the video, I'm going to show you how to add a flip box carousel, which is a carousel that has flip boxes inside of it. We're also going to learn how to add remote arrows like you see over here and a background slider that is synced with our carousel. Over here in our demo, you can see more use cases for the flip box carousel, which is a carousel with items and each item has a front and back side over here you can see center mode which the right and left one have kind of an offset over here you can see a standard carousel with a flip effects and a 3d depth effect for the flip like you know from the regular flip box again some remote arrows with items over here each part can have a background image icons, text, and all sorts of effects for the transitions of the back and front side. So without no more further ado, let's get started. Before getting started, you're going to want to make sure that you have Unlimited Elements Pro version installed and activated on your WordPress website. Once you have Unlimited Elements installed, navigate to the widgets and search for the Flipbox Carousel. You can use the search on the top over here or you can navigate using the categories. Hover over the widget and click Install that will add it to your Elementor page builder jump into the editor and now we can search once again for flip box carousel this is our widget I'm going to drag it inside of Elementor and show you guys how you can customize and edit this so first of all what this does it's actually a carousel an interactive carousel that you can scroll with different items and each item is actually a flip box that you can also edit the back and front side of each one of these guys so to get started with our layout the first thing I'm going to do is once I'm editing I really prefer to turn off autoplay because it's kind of annoying later on when everything is ready you can turn that back on the next part is going into layout and over here in layout you can turn on or off different parts of the front or back card so in the front card i'm only going to leave an icon and the title so we can turn off the text over here so we have an icon in the title and in the back side what i'll think i'll do is i'll actually turn off the icon so i'm going to go for hide Let's leave the title, leave the text, and leave the button. So that's how it looks like. Going back over here into the flip box settings, we can change the height of the flip box. So I'm going to go for height 350, or maybe let's push that up a little bit more. Let's go for 370. And let's add some border radius just to make this rounded. And trigger. So for trigger, Right now you can see that when I'm hovering over these, they are turning around. I can change that to mouse click. Now each time that I'll click on one of these guys, they will turn over and when I'll go off, it will go back. And we also have an option for trigger button. What trigger button does, it adds a small little icon over here. And then when you click on that icon, then it will flip. And there's also a close icon over here. One little cute trick that I use is I turn on the trigger button for trigger and inside of layout, I'm going to hide the back trigger button. And why I do that is because I want it to turn over, turn back once someone goes off the back card. So before, when I clicked over here, I had to click back. Now when my mouse leaves the card, then it will turn back so that's what i wanted to achieve next part is also in the general settings actually the carousel settings over here i'm going to turn off dot and arrow navigation 
just so they don't interfere with my layout. So this is starting to look pretty good. The next part is uh, maybe adding some content over here. So I'm going into items and we're going to add four items like we have over here. Each one is going to represent a city in the world. So for the front icon, I'm going to upload an SVG and I uploaded some SVGs earlier. Let's go for this one. So the first one is going to be Paris. And over here, I'm going to write Paris. Also on the back title, since I want it to be also on the back, I'm going to write Paris. So I think we have everything set up. Paris, Paris icon, it's really small right now. We're gonna make it bigger later. Paris, some content, and a call to action button. Awesome, everything is looking pretty good. Let's continue to our next one. Let's see what other icons we have set up over here. So let's go for this one. And this one is for Berlin. Going to start bringing up the pace. Let's do two more. Upload SVG. And let's go for Barcelona. And we have only one left. It's going to be Tokyo. Let's upload the SVG. I think it's this one. Awesome. So we have all our content set up. And now what we need to do is start styling these guys. So let's jump into the style pane. And over here, the first part is for the background color over here. Now, actually, I think I'm going to go right now for a white color. And maybe just so that doesn't blend too much, let's add some kind of background color to our section. So I'll add, let's just add a black color right now. Later on, maybe we'll change that to a background slider. So clicking back on the widget. And now what I want to do Actually, you can change all sorts of settings over here. If you want your background to be a gradient or a background image, you can also do that. And you can also align your content. So if you're, you want your content to snap to the bottom or the top or something like that, you can do that as well. I'm going to jump into front icon and I'm going to make my icon much bigger. Now, Let's go for, let's say 200 pixels. And we need to change also the icon size and also the icon wrapper for that to take effect. Awesome. So this is starting to look pretty good. Let's jump into front typography and change our text to black since right now we can't see that. And maybe give that a style just so that looks good. Awesome, so this is starting to look good. And I think we can start styling our back side. So let's go into back panel. I'm going to give it a color. Let's use the color sampler to sample some color from here. Maybe we'll go for this turquoise color. Let's go for the blue color. Awesome, let's see how that looks out. Looking good. And let's start styling the back typography. So for the back title, I'm also gonna go for a big font like that and maybe change the color of the text to white as well. So it blends better with the blue background. And let's go for the but back button and let's change the color of the button to transparent and maybe add a border. So let's go for a solid border, two pixels, white color. And let's see how that looks. Awesome, perfect. So that's exactly what I wanted. And I think we're all set up over here. So this is looking awesome. Next part, I'm going to go back into content and I'm going into connect widget settings and I'm going to click on enable remote connection 
and enable sync. Now, enable remote connection, what that does, it allows us to add all sorts of remote controls to make advanced layouts so we can place our arrows or our bullets wherever we want to. So over here, I'm going into search for arrows, which is also a widget of unlimited elements that we've installed earlier. And let's drag that inside over here. Perfect. And now you can see that these arrows have connected automatically to my layout and they're controlling the widget, which is pretty awesome if you think about that. Because now I can place these arrows wherever I want. Now, the next part of my layout, I'm actually going to add a new column. So let's add a new column. And you can see that over here, these are sort of cropping off. So instead of showing three each time, I'm just going to show one. Before doing that, I'm going to jump into the section and make it a little less wide. So inside of layout of the section, I'm going to make it 900 pixels wide and maybe make the column gap wide just so that those don't intersect. And now you can see that three of these are too much over here. So instead, I'm just going to show one. To do that, over here in the general settings, inside of number of items, instead of three, I'm going to choose one. Let's see how that looks. Awesome. This is looking, this is starting to look pretty cool. Now, uh, the next part is I'm going to add a transitioning background that will represent each time the city that's selected over here. So let's start with our background. I'm going to jump over here into the section again. Style, limited background, and over here I'm going to select background slider, which is a slider for the background. And what we're going to do is sync between the items inside of the carousel to the items of our background. So each one, right now you can see it's on autoplay. So I'm going to turn off the autoplay. And let's see over here inside of the items. I'm going to add, instead of just a background color, I'm going to add an image. So right now you can see it's the default placeholder. Let's select an image. And each image over here, actually, I forgot. Okay, the first one is Paris. So let's go for Paris. Back into the section. Unlimited background. Let's also write over here Paris so we know what we're talking about. And in the image, I'm going to select an image of Paris, which is this one over here. The next one is for Berlin. So I'm going over here, I'm going to write Berlin, source image, and I'm going to select my image. So Berlin is this one, I think. No, that's Barcelona. This one is for Berlin. Now I'll duplicate the item and I'm going to write over here bar Salona and I'm going to select the Barcelona image. Almost done. We have just one left. Let's duplicate the item and I'll write over here Tokyo. And I'm going to select a picture of Tokyo. Awesome. So we have four items in our background and four items in our carousel over here. To sync those two together, what I'll do is I'll enable sync and remote over here. And as long as the sync group is the same as it was in the earlier widget, let's just click on that to show it connected widget settings, sync group one, 
So inside of the flip box carousel, I'm in sync group one. And in the background slider, I'm in sync group one. And since they both have four items, the items will sync together. And now you can see that when I navigate between the different slides, it's showing a different image in the background. So this is starting to become really interactive. Next part, I'm going to go back into my carousel and I'm going into the flip box settings. And over here in, in effect, instead of a flip effect, which I don't think it suits my layout too much, I'm going to go for a zoom in, zoom out. Let's see how that looks. So let's click on the plus over here. Boom, looking good. Next part, let's add some typography on the right side. And over here, I think what I think I'll write is places you should visit. Now, right now it's a blue color on a blue background. So let's just change that to white color. Let's move the arrows to this column because it's really important for me that, that you guys understand the power of this, that you can place these arrows wherever you want. You could even absolute position them, maybe. Let's go into the column, vertical align this to the middle, and let's test that everything's working. Now, you can see that the text is still not perfect. I mean, Sometimes you can't see it too good. So I'm going into the section and over here in background overlay, I'm going to add a background. I'm, I'm just going to choose a black color. And now you can see that that darkened our background. And now the text shows up much better and also the cards of our slide over here or carousel. Awesome. Let's just style these a little bit because I don't like it with a white background. So I'm going to make the background clear and just change the button border color to white. Let's make the border width two. And inside of button icon, I'm going to change this to white. Click update to save. And our layout is ready. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you're starting to understand what kind of interesting layouts you can create using unlimited elements. I want to thank you guys for joining and being so patient and I'm going to see you in the next video.